With the vehicle raised and supported on jack stands, you can now go ahead and support the axle with your jack just to take the pressure off of that. You don't want to lift the suspension. Using a 10 millimeter socket, go ahead and remove the screw. Go ahead and remove this 10 millimeter and just slide the heat shield to the side. Using an 18 millimeter wrench and 18 millimeter socket, I'm gonna go ahead and remove this upper bolt here. Using an 18 millimeter shallow socket ratchet, I'm gonna go ahead and loosen this bolt. Right, so you wanna go ahead and hold that in place. Or you go ahead and remove this. And then you can remove the nut with the tab. Next, we'll remove the bolt, pull it out of the way, and remove the upper control arm. Reinstallation, we're just gonna reverse. Take the bolt. You wanna line this up, feed the bolt through, just far enough so you can get that nut started. Okay, you can get that started in there. You might wanna give it a Bonk there to get that in. The screwdriver on the other side, just to help wind things up a little bit as you tap that in. Go ahead and get that nut started on there. Just gonna go ahead and snug this bolt down. We're gonna snug down the other control arm bolt on the axle side. And then we're gonna go ahead and torque these bolts down. Go ahead and torque the upper bolt to 75 foot-pounds. And go ahead and torque the rear bolt to 75 foot-pounds. Go ahead and reinstall the heat shield that 10 millimeter. Go ahead and snug that down. I want to go ahead and lower the support jack from the axle and remove this.